two, three. Test, test, test. We have some uh, audio going through the camera. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Ah, comment of the day. 365 days of training and racing. First, Tisha said yesterday, what a huge color photo of Joseph the Sky Runner. Wall Street Journal did a great article. Congrats, Joseph Damore. In case you missed yesterday's vlog, my brother was featured in the Wall Street Journal uh, yesterday, uh, Wednesday. It was uh, two days ago. Unbelievable. Uh, I went and picked up a physical, real copy of it. Pretty cool. But anyway, Tisha, you get the comment of the day and 365 days, everybody. So, uh, Sean Pervez, Shane Sean Pervez, sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, said yesterday, and this is coming up a lot over on Twitter and Strava especially, hey, any races planned for you, Seth? Training more lightly for a few months, question mark. Enjoy your content, man. Keep it up. And Shan, you are correct. I have been taking it, I think, easy for about six weeks now, roughly. Maybe it's been eight weeks. I'm not exactly sure. And uh, life you know, running is part of life, life is part of running, and I just decided that, you know, it's not worth sacrificing sleep at this stage to train hard and get to a starting line in, you know, let's say May or June and compromise my health at the end of the day is really what it came down to. I just have done that, I've done that before, and it's fine. Sometimes it works out on the starting line, but I've learned over time that, it can really impact your mental state, your physical state, and the ability to make sound decisions. And so anyway, Shan, you're right. I have taken it easy for six to eight weeks, and I'm so glad that I did. I would have been, oh, I don't think I would have actually been able to go to Boston, function in Boston well, you know, get good shots. I just, uh, I've just done it so many times in my past my past life when I was a little younger that I've learned not to do that. But Shan, to answer your question, I'm gonna give you all, and this is kind of a critical vlog to watch. In fact, what I'm gonna do when questions like this pop up, Shan and everybody else, when these questions pop up, I'm actually gonna grab the link to this video and just send it out to everybody and let them know, okay, if you wanna know the roadmap, not only for my training and racing in the next 365 days, but also for this YouTube channel in the next 365 days, boom, you can watch this vlog over and over. And who knows, you may even want to save it somewhere and be like, oh yeah, what is Seth training for? So here it is. Let's lay it out. Uh, one last point. The reason I'm laying it out right now is I realize 3,000 almost. Okay, not quite. 2,800, what are we at? I don't even know. We're at a, a lot of videos on this YouTube channel, heading heading toward 3,000 videos. I realize it can be difficult to dig through the archive. Now, if you're new to the channel, on the homepage, I have playlists. And, all right, so Boston is right at the top. And so the homepage, if you don't go to the homepage often, just know that that homepage, I change it maybe once or twice a month where I update what playlist I playlists I feature on the homepage. So right now, because of Boston, the Boston Marathon, it's at the top uh, because, yeah, we just went and did it. Now, I think also the most popular vlogs on the channel are on the homepage. Um, I think the, what else is up? Mountain running, because we are getting in, into the mountain running season, is on the homepage. And in addition, if you click on the playlist button at the top of the homepage, that'll take you to the real in-depth library of this YouTube channel. So almost every running shoe company has its own dedicated playlist. We're talking everything from the big ones like New Balance, Asics, Nike, all the way down to the smaller ones like Innovate, uh, what else is smaller? Innovate, La Sportiva, anyway, they're all there on the playlist uh, page on the channel, okay? So I don't wanna lay that out, but also there's a new wrinkle, all right? You probably have picked up on it uh, because I'm trying to make the channel as easy to navigate as possible, all right? So right there on the homepage, you'll see it. Boston, yellow and blue. What is the color scheme of the races that I'm gonna be training for in the next 365 days, okay? Now, Boston, it's easy, yellow and blue. Like that's the iconic Boston Marathon colors. In fact, some people at the expo uh, back, you know, 10 days or two weeks ago 
we're hoping that the color scheme of the jacket that all the racers receive was going to be yellow and blue. That's like the go-to colors. So uh, I think it ended up being more of a gray color this year. Anyway, on the homepage of the channel, any video I publish moving forward about the Boston Marathon is going to have this color scheme in the lower left-hand corner of the thumbnail. All right, you'll you see it right there on your screen. That's, that's the distinguishing mark for Boston Marathon video coverage. Sound good? Vlog coverage. Now, here we go. Turn it, this, is, this is it. This is the key point right here. My racing in the next 365 days. You guys know, like, you, got, you saw the little intro, the little 30-second intro before I started talking today. I love mountain running because I love the mountains. I love road racing. Here's the number. I'm going to say this is the number one reason. I love racing in a pack. I don't get that on the trails. I don't get that in the mountains. I get it in the road races I do, like Naples. Um, oh, two of, you know, me and Jordan going together in New York City. We're always together. Uh, so that's kind of like a mini pack. Where else? Where else? Bottom line, all the road races I do, I'm usually in. Oh, yeah, Toledo, Ohio. That was another one. So Pikes Peak, CIM, eh, OTQ, we'll see. Got to fight for it. Got to work for it. Pikes Peak, CIM, and Boston or London. All right, you go vote actually right now over on the community tab. I have a poll going right now, or you can vote below down in the comments. Yeah, should we make that the question of the day? Let's make it the question of the day. Boston Marathon 2024, London Marathon 2024. Uh-oh, duking it out between the Americans and the Brits. Let us know down in the comments or go vote over on the community tab on the homepage, okay? They, they, there it is on your screen right now. All right, so there you have it. I'm a little torn, I don't know. Will I do Boston? Will I do London? I don't know. You guys go vote. Uh, I'm not saying the votes because I need, a, I need, I don't have a Boston qualifier time. And frankly, I don't even really have a, a really great London marathon time. I did a little more research in the last couple of days. I need a good for age standard is what London calls it. So in my age bracket, basically a sub three hour marathon. And I don't have one at this point in the time slot for, in the time frame for when the application goes live. But now I want to just be, okay. So also on the screen right now, Look for these, I'm gonna call them flags, all right? There you go. Pikes Peak, um, what was it? Purple Mountains Majesty, is that how the uh, song goes? So the color scheme of Pikes Peak, their, their logo is purple, so we're going purple. Boston is Boston, it's very simple. We're going yellow and blue, the little blue lettering. And then uh, CIM, I think I'm gonna go a little bit more in the orange category if you look at their logo. So any vlog, uh, training talk, training, uh, training runs, track workouts, whatever the case may be that has this orange color scheme, that's going to be for CIM, all right? So if you're just interested in my training for CIM, just look for this flag, all right? If you're just interested in my training for Pikes Peak, look for this flag. And then we'll see about Boston or London. And I think London is probably going to end up being like a, it's like this TCS, is it T TCS? I think is the main sponsor for London. Uh, but it's like a purple, it's like a pink, purple, orange, any color. It's a very unique color, but they will be tagged on the thumbnail with this flag. Just so you can, again, seek it out, find it out very simply. And all these playlists will be on the homepage, 100%, all right? Um, and I'll eventually go back and update like the New York City Marathon playlist. And also, if it's just like it's a daily vlog, life living, having a good time here in Denver, Colorado with a family, it's always gonna be that iconic, our iconic green color, all right? So it'll be very easy for you to distinguish. Does that make sense? One more point. I don't, uh, I will be doing tune-up races. So these aren't all of my races, Pikes Peak, CIM, eh, maybe an OTQ, we'll see, we gotta work hard. London, Boston, I don't, you know, these are not all of the races. I will also be doing tune-up races. Like, I gotta be honest, like Kendall Mountain. I, I might be going to Kendall Mountain. I honestly, like, it's a perfect race for me to get ready for Pikes Peak. So Kendall Mountain, who knows? Probably not Rendezvous, but it's on the radar. 
Um, and then a tune-up race in late October, early November for CIM. So I'll be looking for a half marathon for that. So if you have any ideas, let me know down in the comments. Let a half, half marathon, late October, early November. Does that make sense? Flags, races, playlists. All right, I wanna make it as easy as possible for you to navigate through the 3,000 videos on this YouTube, almost 3,000 videos on this YouTube channel and I think this system is gonna help you, okay? And again, the key, I think so many people click on, the, on a video, whether they're searching YouTube or they click right off of, uh, I don't know, the homepage of like their recommendations from YouTube, but then they never really go to the homepage of this channel. And then you start to realize, oh my goodness, like the, the amount of videos that you can go watch on training, on you know old training, old running shoes, old carbon fiber plate shoes, old videos where I'm not racing, but I'm going to film, kind of like a Boston example or a Western States. Ex it's, it's <laughs> you, could, you could, like if you're on Christmas break and you're home from college and you don't know what to watch, you could spend your entire Christmas break home from college if you don't have a job and you just, you're just sitting around, like, Boom, hit play, get on the treadmill, and just let it rip for literally weeks and weeks and weeks, and you wouldn't watch the same video more than once, uh, or more than, yeah, more than once. I think that's it. 365 days of training and racing, Boston or London. All right, I love you all. Follow along, of course, always on Strava, and um, let's do this. Let's, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness. We're in for a good summer. I'll just put it that way. All right, everyone. Uh, we'll toss it to, you know, I've made one other vlog, maybe two, but one I'm thinking of about how to use this YouTube channel better. It, it, I go into much more depth than I did today. It'll be right there. All right. There you have it. All right, everyone. Seek beauty, work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.